Welcome you to This is the Velvet Locks with another story time. And I kid you not, this one, you thought the last one was crazy? This one is, it's just getting realer, okay? It is just getting real. So sit back, enjoy your tea, and here we go. Well, let me ask you something. Have you ever had a friend that you've never been over to their house, but you know they got some issues over there? And we talking creepy crawly issues. Well, Jeff. Now, you know, you try not to say anything. Well, one particular day, this friend wanted to do something nice for the homeless women in a shelter and decided that she wanted to cook Thanksgiving dinner for the women in this particular shelter that was in the area. So she's in there, I guess, cooking it up. Now, I've never eaten from her because I know she got issues at her house. So that was never a thought. But she decided she wanted to do the you know the godly thing and you know feed the homeless women in the shelter around Thanksgiving so she's cooking up the turkey all the sides everything so now she needs to transport these things over to the shelter so I'm off that day and I figured okay no problem sis I'll help you out well I go over to her house now to help bring these trays of food into my vehicle so this way we can head over to the shelter. Wow. She invited me in. Now before we go inside, let me just give you a brief summary of things that I've noticed on the outside. Well, on several other different occasions, you know, you go pick your friend up, you go to the door, you ring the doorbell, ding dong. And you're standing there waiting. Now, while you're waiting, you know, you're looking around. You're looking at the house. Oh, nice. Mm. But then my eyes locked in at her window, which was right there at her door. And at this little window, which I guess is her little kitchen area, at that window, you see roaches crawling at the window, just greeting you from the inside. Hello. Now I'm bugging out just from being outside. Like, oh crap. No, this ain't what I'm seeing. And we're not just talking one, not even two. We're talking a multitude. Hello. They're just sitting there crawling around, waving. So I'm now going crazy now, okay? She opens the door. And I kid you not. This is no exaggeration. When she opens the front door, the roaches that was must have been crawling on the door, the door sill and everything, whatever roaches was crawling on top, when she opened the door, all I heard was, They fell to the floor and hit the ground. And you heard, Psh. when I looked down, all I saw was a bunch of roaches scattering. Okay, because it's dark in there and now the light is coming in from opening the door and they, they drop to the floor Psh. and start to scatter. So now, let's go inside. Well, we go inside the house. And it's a small little spot for her and her kids. But it's dark in there. Now, of course, as I'm standing at the door before she opened the door, I'm seeing her, you know, little neighbors just, you know, waving from the outside. So I'm already scared to go inside. So as I'm walking, inside her place and I mind you very slowly as I'm walking my eyes got bigger 
because you know it's dark in there, but you got to see what's going on. So I'm walking and I'm looking around as I'm walking in her place slowly. And I spotted the kitchen area. Over by the kitchen area, not only <laughs> is it dark, but you could see a dish piled up high. Now, I tell you, she was cooking. The dish sink was piled up high with dishes, and the garbage pail was overflowing with cans. But cans overflowing the garbage, and as they're all, you know, on the floor and, and, and the dishes is high, all I can see is these things crawling around, crawling around. They're just, they're having a buffet up in there, okay? They're having a buffet up in there. I'm not kidding you. So now I'm even more petrified. So he's trying to get me to come in the kitchen now so I can grab a pan, but I couldn't move but so fast because I'm scared now. So now I'm walking towards the kitchen, but I'm walking slow. But I'm moving from side to side, doing a two-step. Because I ain't trying to stand still because I don't want nothing to fall, crawl, or whatever. So I'm doing a two-step. I'm looking around. We got roaches on the ceiling. We got roaches on the walls. <laughs> And I know they on the floor because I ain't trying to stop. If they get caught under my feet, tough cookies. So I'm doing the two-step. Now I get in the kitchen. And the kitchen was lit. But there was roaches everywhere. How do you cook and survive in a place where there's roaches everywhere? So I'm in shock. Because I cannot believe the multitude of roaches in this place. So I grab a pan carefully now. And I'm so, so petrified. I'm walking back to my vehicle in shock like a zombie. Couldn't say nothing. Couldn't speak. I felt like I was in shock, complete shock, where just like that, no words. So now I had to go back in there to get to get the rest of the stuff that she was bringing. And I, I, I tell you, I, I, I don't know how I made it back in there to grab another pan to bring back in my car because I didn't even trust them things in my car now. I didn't trust whatever she cooked in the car because if the house has mad roaches, oh yeah, they traveling in the car with us to the shelter. And I tell you, it was the most disgusting thing that I've ever saw, experienced, and oh my God, it was disgusting. It was horrific. Horrific. Now, mind you, after that day, I have never, ever, ever put my foot back into her house again. But the problem was we were friends. We're sisters in Christ. And, you know, you try to tell it in a subtle way, like, You know, sis, you need to write, like, you know, maybe, like, bomb your place up because, you know, there's a lot of roaches you got going on. You try to tell them in a nice, subtle way. But she's so used to living with them. They were like neighbors. They were like friends. They were like tenants. She was like, oh, that ain't that bad. So I'm like, okay. Now, I couldn't understand before where roaches was coming from in my vehicle. Until after that day, 
I realized she was bringing roaches in my vehicle. I kid you not, one day we were driving and I saw one. And I flipped out, went crazy, trying to find this daggone roach. Even came out the car, looking around, looking under the seats, looking everywhere, but I didn't see it. So I'm driving now, and I'm driving, and I'm looking at my pedals. I ain't paying attention to the road, but I'm looking around. I'm looking around. Ooh. Now I'm itching now. I'm looking around. I think I'm feeling everything. All of a sudden, I get to my block, and I thought I felt something zoom across my foot. It was the mouse. Ha! You talk about flying home so fast, park that car, zoom, try to get something to get that thing out. Couldn't find the roach. I tore up the whole vehicle, vacuumed out the whole entire vehicle, lift up the seats of the truck, vacuumed under there, got everything from front to back, but did not find that roach. But I was traumatized. That was the worst experience I've ever had. And I tell you, even up to this day, I can see it like it was yesterday. Nasty. Really nasty. So, I tell you like this, if you got friends that got big issues, small issues, medium issues, creeping and crawling around in their house, don't go inside. Don't go inside. And don't invite them to your house because they will start to move in your place quick. Some of you guys, huh, I am like itching, I am out of breath, my heart is beating like crazy because I swear, I need therapy after this. So, while I'm getting my therapy, I'll see y'all on the next story time video. Woo, let me go calm down. See you later.